Hi, this is David from AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you another cool trick. This particular trick is not something that would necessarily be that obvious, uh, but it's really handy. And it what it does is basically this is how you would fire a script from a layout by hitting the enter or the return key in a field. So you know, normally you might fire a script by pushing a button. Um, like this button right here would actually fire off a search. But most people, when they're entering a search term specifically, you just want to type in the letters and then hit return, and then it actually does the search. So the way that you accomplish that in FileMaker is you add a script trigger to the field that you want to have this effect on. So in this case, it's our search field. And um, you can see that the there's a script trigger set on this, and it's on object keystroke. And uh, that means that every time you enter a key, or you push a key on your keyboard in this field, the script will fire. OK, so that's pretty straightforward. And um, the script that fires every time actually checks to see what you just typed. And what it does is it checks to see if you typed a regular letter or if you hit the enter key or a tab key or the return key um, and really you could check for any character that you want uh, and you can see that if it's just a letter or some piece of uh, punctuation that they typed in you can just exit this particular part of the script um, so that in effect you just ignore when they're typing regular letters but if they've hit the return then you fire the rest of the script which is the search. So I'll show you how this works. Um, I can just normally type and uh, it doesn't have any real effect. It just goes very quickly. And as soon as I hit enter, it actually fires off the script. And there's my name. It found me in this system. So the way that this works, I'll show you with the debugger so you can actually see it working. Is as soon as I type any character, you can see that this fires off. And um, what this does is it grabs uh, the script parameter, which in this case doesn't really have a script parameter. But what it does is uh, that would be if we were firing this from a specific place. So we're going to ignore that for the moment. And what really is important is this part right here. So we see set variable, and it's dollar char, and the value is going to be the uh, you're going to use get trigger keystroke, which actually grabs the keystroke that was the cause of this triggered script. So it, it grabs uh, the A. And then code transforms that letter A into a number, like a Unicode character. Um, and then you can compare that against the uh, characters, the codes, the Unicode characters for things like a tab key or the return key or um, the enter key. And so you'll see here, uh, it looks to see if the thing that I just typed was one of these keys. If it was not one of these keys, then we exit. So it's a very short script, and that's all it does at first. So if I type another letter, it does the same thing. Is that a return key? Is, am I supposed to fire off the script? Nope, exit. So although it's firing the script every time you type, it's so fast because it just has to do one thing that it doesn't really matter. Um, as soon as I hit a D, it'll finish again, go really fast. And then when I hit the return key, you'll see that at this point, we set the variable char. And I'll show you what this actually looks like. If you go to the data viewer, you can see char is 13, which is the code for the enter key. So then we go if char equals 9, then uh, it's going to be false, which is 0. If char equals 10, it's going to be 0. If char equals 13, it's going to be 0. And 0 means false. So this particular line of code was false, so we're not going to exit the script. We're going to continue, which means it's actually going to fire off the search. And that's basically all you have to do. So just to show you a little bit of how this works, um, in the data viewer, if we go here and we add, uh, let's see, code. If you go code A, 
then you get the result of 97. So you can check for any piece of uh, text by using get trigger keystroke uh, and comparing it against like a tab key. For example, the tab key is this. Oops, it's this. So you can see that a tab key is nine. Um, it's hard to get these, but you can actually look at any Unicode chart and it will give you uh, these codes for things like that. So um, that's about the extent of this cool trick.